Welcome back. So as you can see, we can see our cube from Unity right below the uh, Magic Leap sign, but it's very hard to see because the view is empty. We need to add a room and we're going to create our own room. Let me show you how to do this. All right, so first of all, you need to go to the SDK wherever you downloaded it. Here is the ML SDK. I'm going to double click on it, V0.11, and I'm going to the virtual device. And here I'm going to select the BIM directory. And now I'm going to select the virtual room generator. Obviously is to generate a virtual room. Right, here it comes. And it comes by default with a room already. So I'm not gonna spend much time right now to create a, a special custom room. I'm just going to use this room. And to be able to do that, you can just click on generate room. And as you can see, it, it generates random rooms for you. So I'm gonna use this one. And the secret here is to click on export. Very important, do not save the room. I mean, you could save this one, but if you want to be able to use it with Unity, you need to export it. So click on export. And now let's save it as my room one dot room. And I'm going to save that um, in a specific folder so that I remember where it is. I'm going to save it in my desktop. All right. So please do so too. All right. Okay. So now that it's saved, I'm going to use that in the Magic Leap remote. So launch the Magic Leap remote. And here you will see a weird sign that says load virtual room. By the way, all these symbols may be different in your version because this is a very uh, alpha slash beta version and things are about to change for sure. But locate the one that says load virtual room. Click there and let's go ahead and load it. Here is my room and click on open. And here we go. We have the room right there. Now, you may have to, uh, to move things around so that you can see the cube because the field of view is smaller. But as you can see, as I'm zooming in and out, I can see the cube and you can also move around to see the cube as well. Okay. All right. So at this point, you have your whole environment set up to be able to make your own game and apps with the Magic Leap interface.